Hello. 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 We are we are less and less <laughs> in these meetings. <laughs> How are you? Fine, it's rainy day in Tbilisi right now. <laughs> nice, it was raining in Bucharest in the morning, but uh -huh. now it's okay. <laughs> the sun's up. I want to ask you, I uh, sent my homeworks, but I saw you didn't um, um, receive that. I... Uh, are you talking about the last ones? Yes, the... yes, my homeworks. Uh, the homeworks uh, for this week or the homework from last week? Uh, for this week, for this week. Yes, because uh, uh, today I was uh, here at work uh, since nine in the morning. So now I finished. Uh, yes, yes, I, uh, I, I see. <laughs> my activities, but uh, I will. I will uh, today and during the weekend, I will uh, I will go through all your homeworks and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll write to you a general, general feedback because, of course, all my work from... <laughs> Uh, for my for the last two days uh, it is gone so yes. don't expect uh, to find on the platform my feedback so i will uh, i will start to to write a general feedback for every course for each uh, each one of you yes. and uh, that will that will take some some time because uh, you are uh, you are almost 50 who submitted the homeworks and it's gonna take some time <laughs> to do that. But oh, I will. thank you. Uh -huh. You'll get the feedback. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't uh, be more uh, more prompt with uh, with the homeworks. But uh, I still have, uh, you know, I still have a. Uh, I, I have many things to do <laughs> at the university. Yes, I see. Thank you. Yeah. No problem. I also sent it and I tried to dance, but it is really fun. <laughs> really? You did that? Oh, I'm so happy. I tried I'm so... it. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, I take it as a, as a personal present. <laughs> <laughs> it was really fun. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm glad it was fun. Oh, I can't wait to see. <laughs> Hello, hello, welcome. Hello, good day. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 Thank you. 
Well, being a being our last meeting, I uh, I, know, I just wanted to see you one more time, and to I don't know to draw some conclusions and uh, I don't know whatever you feel like adding. Now now uh, will will be the best uh, moment to do. Uh, and uh, to, I don't know, to talk a little bit about uh, this experience that you have uh, with with this module and um, what whatever cross through your mind <laughs> connected to connected to what we discussed what. Uh, uh, the, the principle that we were uh, we were talking about during the module or anything else if... so please yeah we may go step by step for uh, why not uh, for me it was really useful not because i'm talking with you right now but you know the really useful moment was the breathing uh which i forgot i've got those kind of lessons when i was uh, younger <laughs> actually uh, so yeah it was really useful because uh, because of everything uh, because i slept well i'm sleeping well right now uh, after these exercises also you know you um, tried to for me actually uh, tried me to think about uh, my other life besides the job <laughs> uh, because I start to listen to myself, start to just walking around the area and listen to the music and have myself some rest to not to be I don't know, overcrowded with with the things I have to do have to do and blah blah to to my to the university as well as uh, on TV. Uh, so yeah, it was really useful. Mm, what other things? Uh, also, I was thinking to somehow to pre present myself different, differently to the students uh, because uh, they knew me as an anchor, they knew me as a journalist, but they don't knew some other, uh, other things. So I'm trying to be more, more human with them, <laughs> let's <Yeah>. say. <laughs> Not like it, like a teacher as we, all of us had uh, unfortunately communist uh, past. So the teacher was like something who, who is punishing. Uh, so yeah, so I, I'm trying to prove myself after, after this, all these exercises we've done together. So thank you for this. And it well, was really I'm I'm happy it's, like it, uh, it's helpful because that was actually the point, you know. Uh, I I I never wanted to come in front of you and uh, pretend that uh, I'm teaching you something that uh, you've never heard or never never experienced. It's uh, it's about uh, you know, I wanted this uh, this module to be uh, a sort of a reminder of what we know and what we don't exactly. use. So for me, I don't know yeah. for others. For me, it was it worked. So. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad it works because that uh, that was the purpose. So that uh, that was actually the point. You know, just to 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 help you remember that uh, you know you. You have an, an inner body. Uh, you there's always another person inside us, uh, uh, which is different from our public persona, whatever whatever we do. Yeah. And um, to somehow I don't know to to make you make you look inside yourself and uh, try to find uh, you know that fresh uh, that fresh personality and uh, that person that you actually want to be or you forgot that uh, that person exists you know yeah especially so, when we are online because yeah. it is. yes 
Yes, that uh, okay. that uh, you are uh, the uh, cluster. Yeah, that adds uh, more pressure actually, and uh, it's uh, it's easier to to forget that uh, we have a body that uh, that's supposed to be functional, and uh, uh, we we or some of us uh, I don't know maybe we forgot uh, that um, you know how to how to behave in public and uh, that we we must we must prepare for that you know being yeah. at home for a longer time uh, you know in the coziness of our uh, of our home is uh, we we you know we just forget that we have to I don't know to get dressed and uh, go to school maybe mm -hmm. So I'm 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 happy it was uh, helpful for you. I'm really am. Yeah. Thanks. Yes. I don't know who raised the hand first, <laughs> Viorica. Or... I don't know, but I can start if uh, Victoria doesn't mind, or I can let. Uh, yes, please, Viorica. I'll be okay. after you. No problem. Oh, okay. Thank you um uh, so hello i was uh, just a bit late um uh, but i understood what it's uh, all about and um uh, i can say that uh, as you said a reminder and indeed it was a very good reminder but uh, when it comes to ve the very first lesson related to posture that was that came very handy and extremely useful and they have to tell that uh, to confess that uh, this change will not happen all at once and that probably it will take time because my the memory of my muscles <laughs> right makes me yeah. just um, uh, hunch my bag uh, and keep uh, using the old pattern so it's it's work in progress and i assume that it's going to take a while but while walking for example because i i said that i love one way of relaxing is walking while walking i might remember that i have to uh, how i have to position my hands and immediately my my shoulders uh, uh, do not lean forward so <laughs> that was uh, something that i um, learned uh something that was totally new for me because um, I need just to continue and um, go on working. Uh, also, um, breathing is extremely important. And we as teachers, uh, I uh, always tell that um, in the past, I literally had this anxiety, let's say, before the start of a new year, when I have to meet the students for the first time, I might not even uh, sleep well at night because I was anxious, anticipating. Yeah. And the breathing actually helped me out with this. Meditation and reading, re, uh, breathing helps uh, um, lower the levels of anxiety, feel calmer. And again, I would uh, uh, say that it takes time to see the effects. So uh, the encouragement would be not to give up at this stage, but persist because in the long run, um, we are bound to see the benefits of uh, uh, breathing, relaxing, and even dancing. Because yesterday, some of my uh, colleagues uh, confessed that they, they are not that much into dancing. They don't like dancing. Maybe there is another way of relaxing and, you know, getting dopamine or serotonin from other uh, activities. I agree with it. But um, uh, I know that mm, swaying a little bit, I, I, yesterday I said, I confessed, I can't dance really because I get confused. But um, every morning when I wake up, uh, I dance. This is already a ritual that I make. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, for one month, I think already. And it really mm, um, gives me the energy, boosts me up. So kind of, uh, it's a song, it's a silly song. I'm dancing and uh, I feel uh, better for sure. Now, for example, I'm sick. I, I hope it's, it's not COVID. I've made tests uh, and still in the morning, I did just the same and I felt better. Uh, so uh, mm, uh, that uh, came very useful. And um, particularly, I will just um, try to persist in following the, uh, let's say the, hints the suggestions related to posture because for me this is a serious problem i know uh, my back doesn't look good and whenever people see me they always have this tendency to <laughs> 
to um, make it right. So uh, thank you. I think uh, this is what I wanted to say. Okay, I'm happy it worked for you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, shall I continue, please? Please do. Mm -hmm. Thank you. G good afternoon, everybody. Uh, for me, it was a really um, useful and pleasant and a really good uh, thing uh, because uh, actually during each um, topic, each uh, module, I um, uh, found something important for, for me, for my mind, for my body. Uh, first of all, it's about posture because I discovered that I have really um, incorrect posture all the time when I'm sitting, when I'm uh, staying. And now I try, even now I try to, to keep this uh, upright position and to keep my um, bones in the right position, which gives me a more um, a better situation of my um, organs functioning. That's what I think. And I try to, um, you know, to control myself all the time in order to get this new habit and to, to reach the situation when it will be no, not under my control, but just uh, instinctively will be uh, better, will be correct, uh, let's say. Uh, I enjoyed this lesson about relaxation and I decided to, to buy this wonderful ball you demonstrated us because I never use it. It seems to me it's really good thing for relaxation, for different uh, movements, as well as the Alexander technique. I just watched uh, the um, demonstration video, a short one, but it seems to me it's, it's really interesting without any... Uh, hard uh, physical exercises, very friendly, very easy to, to realize to do all these exercises. So uh, I, I have to, to find time and to analyze it in details and maybe to buy this online course and to follow it. Um, it, it was a very interesting thing and amusing thing with this video record because, for instance, uh, for our first uh, assignment, I made two videos. The first one was when I was moving around my house. And uh, when I watched it, I uh, discovered that I have really problems with my breeze, <laughs> breathing. Because when I, um, I'm walking in a middle tempo, I don't have a normal breathing situation. You know, It was a sign for me and a topic for, of, to think about. And another, it was, uh, and uh, after I, I made another video without um, a screen, just uh, on mobile telephone, I discovered that my um, eyes make some crazy movements around. <laughs> it was really interesting. And I can imagine what impression my students have if, if I keep this behavior <laughs> during the lessons, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh, so thank you so, so much. It seems to me it was very important because, you know, before our, um, in the beginning of our project, uh, I understood clearly what we, we will study on this uh, video um, producing or uh, photo and so on, but it was absolutely an enigma for me. What we are talking about uh, during this lesson, and now I see, see that it's really, um, you know, a good investment of your experience and your theory and your knowing of uh, human body, of dance, of movement into this specific topic. Uh, and my question is, Andrea, what is the, the topic of your PhD dissertation? Well, is it is, uh, uh, just a second to, to remember the name, <laughs> because it's a long <laughs> I, one. I mean, it's the a, idea of... Uh, it's a metamorphosis of um, uh, corporal expression into the contemporary performance. Uh -huh. So con based that, on that, contemporary dance. Mm -hmm. yes. oh, contemporary performance in a larger... Perform performance in general, because I wanted to use my, my experience both in dance and in theater, as a choreographer uh, in theater, and uh, to, talk, uh, to talk about, you know, how actually, how this, the, 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 the performance, the spectacle today 
uh, is different than uh, the performance used to be mm -hmm. 30 years ago, you know, mm -hmm. and all, all my experience in, in those, uh, in those uh, 26, 27 years, uh, you know, in uh, contemporary theater, in devised work, in uh, all, you know, all kinds of uh, contemporary today kind of theater, um, for me, it was uh, important to talk about because in Romania uh, at that point, it wasn't uh, those weren't topics that were like really known or, um, you know, like very, very popular, you know, mm -hmm. of course, in the past six years, it became, you know, like social theater, uh, device theater. So there are, you know, some some genre of, of theater that uh, now there are really you know, people are more uh, attracted to it. But, uh, you know, six years ago, 10 years ago, there were only some, some, uh, some uh, theater directors who were, um, who were actually uh, attacking this, uh, this kind of theater. And that is why for me it was important uh, through my work, you know, to, to put in, in this uh, thesis uh, things that I, I discovered myself. Uh, and um, to to share this knowledge, of course, if I one day I will publish my, my thesis, which I, I hadn't I hadn't time the, to do it, but I I hope I will <laughs> this year at least. Uh, but uh, you know, to put there um, uh, my my shared experience between uh, between choreography for theater and also you know like proper choreography for for dancing, for contemporary dance. And all my experience, you know, as a, as a dancer, as a choreographer, and as a choreographer for theater. So mainly it is, it is about uh, corporality how, and how it, uh, it's, uh, it's changing, uh, especially in, in the 21st century. Um, uh, uh, new, new aesthetics that uh, are built, you know, starting from the body of the, of the performer being the actor or the dancer or whatever. Um, so mainly this is, uh, this is my thesis about. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks yeah. again for, for your course, for your le well, lesson. Thank you, thank you for, uh, for, actually, for actually doing what I, <laughs> what I uh, asked you to do. Uh, you know, it's you said you said about the videos, and uh, I'm I'm sure that uh, looked some uh, somehow strange, you know, to to mm -hmm. film yourself every time talking about something or doing something. Uh, but actually, um, I, I I saw this uh, this process, uh, you know, as a as a, a diary, and I I'm sure it would be good for you to see yourself. You know, now you have those those uh, film materials, and uh, it just you know just let it rest a little bit. And uh, at one point, when you have the time, uh, just start to look at them from starting with the first one and finishing with the last one. And uh, in in some of you, I've seen I've seen some changes, which of course they they are not spectacular, mm -hmm. but uh, you know uh, it. If, uh, if a person who in the first video was like, you know, with the hands tucked uh, to the body and uh, talking, you know, and not moving uh, the head or the hands or the shoulders, and then already in the third video started to at least to think about, you know, to use, to relax a little bit and to use, uh, you know, the gestures to, to communicate. And, and, you know, it's, and, and it's so interesting to see, you know, it's so interesting. And for me, for me, it was such a joy, you know, to see that from one video to, to the other, things were visibly changing, you know? And also what I, what I wanted, so this is good also for you, you know, and, and you could use that when, when you are not certain you know, on how you behave, on, on how you present yourself. Just film yourself, you know, with, with the task that you have to, to perform. Just film yourself and then analyze, you know, look, look at, the, at the recording and analyze because what, what camera sees, the people see, you mm -hmm. know. So it's a good, it's a good way to, to, to solve some problems or to, to temper, you know, some, um, if, if you are too, you know, 
to dramatic in gestures or if you talk too loud or if you talk to um, uh, your, you know, your voice is too loud or is uh, too, uh, you know, too small and uh, uh, didn't, didn't uh, reach, uh, reach uh, the, the, the target, the, the, the audience, uh, or I don't know, there are so many things that you can actually improve by analyze, seeing yourself and analyzing how, how your, your body works. You know, and another thing that I wanted to tell you, uh, because I know uh, those modules are made uh, are made uh, for you to to get some uh, to acquire some knowledge, and uh, to to pass it to to your students or to the people that you work with. Um, of course, uh, uh, you you're not gonna start teaching your students how to breathe or how to. But uh, you, uh, now knowing and changing something into yourself, it would be easier to, to observe in others if there are some things that are not functioning right. And um, a, a body that is strained, a body that is uh, all the time stressed, you know, it is a body that, that's focused on, on those muscles that are uh, always working instead of being, you know, being relaxed and attentive to, to the knowledge that is passed, you know, to, to the, the, the person that uh, actually is there to, to bring something new to them, you know? So that, that from this point of view, it is important, all, all this work that, uh, that we did. And I told you that I'm, I'm, I'm really, uh, it's actually it's pissing me off because uh, if this, uh, this would be a, you know, face-to-face -face, uh, class, I could have uh, I could have done so many things, you, you know, for you because I I just stick uh, I stick to to the ba basic because uh, there are these are uh, you know th these are topics uh, that if uh, there are uh, there's no one to to be there and to to tell you if you're wrong and to be there to to you know to inter in, intervene if. Uh, something goes wrong, um, uh, it, uh, it, the, the, you know, it, it could be damaging for you. So that's why I didn't want to go further with the breathing. You know, I stayed, I stayed to the basic, basic uh, correct breathing, which we all should do, we all should do, or the posture, you know, there are so many things, there are so many exercises and um, so many situations that uh, when, when you are face to face, you can you can uh, uh, you can work on, but it has to be you know the let's say the teacher has to be there next to you, you know. So that's why I didn't want to go deeper into into this because I I I would have loved to, but at least you know uh, even even this uh, this basic this is uh, this is something that I I hope it uh, it will change uh, the way you look to to the people that you are in contact with. You know, and also you can you can do some good. You know, if you see uh, at least now you know now you know about those basic things, and if you see this happening in in another body, you can be there and you can uh, you can just you know correct that as as much as you know you know and as much as you you filtered through your body, you know the information. Right and. Uh, to understand better the psychological uh, statement yeah. of your students and to you know to communicate better to them to relax them maybe it's, it's important so it's yeah. uh, in in both directions it's, it's it's very useful for us and it's mm -hmm. useful for our students as well thank you yeah. andrea so uh, I'm, I'm curious did uh, did anybody uh, start with a diary at the beginning of the module or everybody forgot about it. <laughs> I won't lie. I have started it, but I uh, gave up on it. Okay. When when, so when I can begin? say that um, this is my biggest problem. I can't keep diaries. I maybe there are people more organ. And this is something I I've tried so many times to start a diary, but eventually. Mm, I don't know why it happens, <laughs> but 
but I tried and uh, not online, but uh, a notebook. <laughs> I, I bought a notebook and I still have it. So you, no. you prefer for that. I appreciate it. <laughs> but I assume I'm not well organized. I don't know why I have this issue with writing diaries. <clears throat> yeah, to, be, to be honest, uh, I'm not a diary person. I, I, I also I started many times to you know to keep a diary, but after a few days, I just gave up. Uh, but you know that that uh, that was a work diary, and that would have been nice for you. I don't know in a month for, uh, from now to just uh, read you know the thoughts that you actually had when you first tried something you know or when you you remember that you have to you know to breathe or to relax or you know because uh, of course the the video diary it's very nice and it's good to to have uh, you know this platform to analyze uh, but uh, the written diary uh, it's actually inviting you to to write a little bit more, you know, and to be maybe poetic and to be, I don't know, uh, according to each, one, each one's personality. So nobody took a, uh, started a diary. Honestly, I don't have an attempt even because <laughs> I couldn't take <laughs> diaries. <laughs> I never wrote it, <laughs> never ever. <laughs> When okay. I was you don't have a pen. You don't have a pen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, even when, when I'm uh, doing schedule for, for, for the another day, I, I am for, forgetting to look at into the schedule because I'm, for, I'm forgetting that I have a schedule. <laughs> <It is. laughs> yeah, maybe maybe next time. Who knows? If uh, it's good that uh, something actually remained uh, remained undone, because uh, maybe maybe at one point we we will we will meet and uh, we will continue this uh, this module and uh, I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll make my mission in making you keep a diary. <laughs> 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 really hope that someday we'll see each other <laughs> yes so any other thoughts no nobody wants to say anything um i want to say something please um it was very interesting. Thank you for uh, the lessons, for the videos, for the um, uh, everything. Uh, it was very interesting and useful, I think. Um, if we can um, concentrate and did something which we learn, which we study, which we uh, uh, which we see, it will be good, I think. Thank you. Well, thank you. The idea, the idea is, uh, you know, I wanted to talk, uh, not uh, to thank me, but uh, just to really share your experience, you know, to really acknowledge uh, if there's something changing inside you, if you discover something. So this, uh, that's the point of, uh, of this, uh, this discussion. You know, yes. because I would like if you if you say it, that means that you acknowledge it. You know, and it's actually analyze it, synthesize it, synthesize it, and you're you're able to talk about. You know, it's not just an interior uh, experience, and that's it. Yeah, one more. I want to say that if uh, someday we will meet each other, it will be really helpful to uh, somehow acknowledge how to. Um, I don't know. Um, fix my body so that when I have to be in um, wrong position, but have to be like uh, standing uh, for four hours or five hours uh, and talking, what, how could I balance my body? You know, I, I know that it is impossible on a distance, uh, but whatever, if we'll one day meet each other, <laughs> uh, I hope that uh, you will teach it. 
Yes, um, actually, uh, in non comfortable position for us. Yes, uh, it is. A, it is a matter, but it it is a lot to talk about this. And yes, it will help if uh, you know if we are face to face. And actually, I could show you. It's it's not uh, it's not uh, something I don't know, not like a existential philosophy, but. Um, it is about carrying your weight, you know. And you you'll see you'll see in my notes uh, because uh, I repeat your uh, your material uh, video material uh, with uh, your TV show uh, was really really good, you know, I, for me to analyze. So I, I had uh, I have some specific notes um, analyzing that material. Uh, it's you know every everybody uh, gets tired. So this is something. It's not like uh, we are, you know, super super humans, and uh, we never get tired. Sure. But you know, coordinating all this, you know, supporting your weight and not leaving your upper body to to press on your lower body, uh, breathing correctly, and being able to to control your breath, uh, your breathing, especially when you feel like you're getting tired, or you know, uh, this uh, this uh, can get, uh, can keep you going for a longer time but of course we all get tired you know and this balancing the weight uh, it's uh, it works as long as we 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 don't uh, forget to you know don't forget to balance the weight and because uh, and and I, I i see myself doing that uh, uh, sometimes uh, that i just you know i just place my my weight on on one side on one leg and i, I you know i I feel comfortable because that, that okay, that's why, why I'm doing it. But actually, after you know, when I spend too much time in this position, after I realized that, oh my God, this is, this is actually worse, you know. But uh, I told you, I'll, I'll give you some notes on that. And um, thanks. Uh, but, but it's a matter. It's a matter of exercise. I'm sorry, but yeah. it is a matter of exercise. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I've got it. Thanks. May I say something? Please do. So, uh, when I started to watch your videos, uh, at first I thought that we know everything. It seems that at first that we know everything. And we know everything about good posture, right posture, about right breathing and so on and so forth. But I think that these kinds of videos are very, very important for every every everyone, and uh, they should be watched periodically so that yeah. we don't forget about our posture, about our breathing, about our uh, how to to use our gestures and other things. So uh, sometimes uh, when uh, we are full of work, when we are overloaded we don't pay attention any attention to our own health and uh, to um, uh, whether we have to relax or or not uh, whether we our body is important for us or not and uh, i think that uh, showing the uh, like uh, watching these videos we understand that our body is very very important for us and in order to have uh, good mind and healthy mind, we have to have also healthy body. So uh, that's why I think that everyone should watch at least maybe once uh, every three months, <laughs> these <laughs> kinds of videos. Yes, thank yes. You. that's why, thank you. That's why I said that uh, this is a good exercise, you know, uh, just, yes, of course, revisit those videos that now you have uh, uh, because of, of uh, this uh, this uh, class, uh, but uh, from time to time, film yourself because the you know the body evolves or uh, you know or regresses. It depends, you know, uh, and uh, you you'll find all the time something something new in your body. You know, uh, you you think uh, you think about yourself that uh, you are you know well aligned and your posture is good. And then you, you know, you, you look to yourself in a, let's say, a photo 
And then, you know, you realize that, that actually your body, sometimes it's weird, you know, and this is the moment when you should do something. And that's why I'm saying this is a good tool, you know, being, uh, being always uh, having, having this, uh, this eye from, from the outside. Yes. Um, so, I, for example, uh, I, I see some young people making selfies very often and uh, like putting play, uh, posting them on uh, Facebook. And I wonder my, uh, like, uh, why do they do that? But uh, when I, I myself, I don't like making selfies, but uh, uh, I think that it's very important because they, uh, they can see themselves how they look like, uh, whether they are like, uh, whether they are uh, nice in this position or, the, or not. And uh, I, I don't try to do it myself, but I think that it's also very important uh, because you can um, trust yourself in this, in this posture or that posture, or you like yourself, and maybe you you can understand uh, whether people uh, will um, will like you uh, in what in what state will people like you? I think that it's it's also very important. And yes. Yeah. But I also I also think uh, that uh, actually this uh, selfie mania. Uh, it is actually, you know, probably the need to to express yourself. You know, I see it. I see it like a, I don't know, psychological somehow deviation. You know, because uh, 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 right now we have we have cameras on all our devices. You know, right now, so it it, it comes. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, we we have it in in our hand. You know, and of course, what to do? Take a selfie. You know, and actually, the new generation they are they 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 are uh, more comfortable with the with the visual uh, expression. You know, visual representation of themselves or or the others, uh, because we we grew up uh, in in times when we didn't have mobile phones. <laughs> uh, probably we didn't have a camera. You know. Uh, photo camera or video camera, uh, and uh, of course for for us it wasn't important. Of course, of course for us it's not important uh, if I'm you know I'm I'm in my office and oh, I'm taking a selfie and I'm uh, just posted on uh, Facebook, you know. So people could uh, hit me with likes or dislikes uh, and say, oh my God, oh, you're a work, ah, so funny. You know, because of course I don't have time for that. Probably I will do it. I don't know. Uh, but this is this is uh, this is. I told you this is their time. This is how things are going today. You know. So yeah, we like it or not. Uh, probably in ten years we we are gonna do the same thing. I don't know. <laughs> it's <laughs> gonna be mad but our children and maybe grandchildren. Yes, exactly. So you said, uh, Gohar, you said uh, earlier, uh, uh, you know, about uh, about uh, when you when you get tired, you know, that you forget uh, you forget about your body. Uh, well, this is this is uh, talking about awareness. You know, this is the moment when uh, when uh, a trained awareness kicks in. You know, especially when when you are tired and uh, you feel like your body is out of control. That, that, that is the precise moment when you actually become more aware, you know, and mm -hmm. bring your body together. And, and if, uh, even if you're tired and you feel like your, you know, your, your parts are, uh, are dismantling, you know, just uh, that is the moment when you have to, to pull, you know, to pull back together the body and to, to be more aware on how, how you, you know, and you will see that uh, if, if you do that, uh, uh, your, your body will start to, uh, this, this is gonna reboost your, your body, you know, and uh, one moment you feel, you feel tired and instead of uh, letting your body, you know, be heavy and uh, be hectic, you know, um, have, have uh, hectic behavior, uh, just 
pull it back together and you know remember to breathe remember to relax so you will see that maybe i don't know in five minutes uh, your body will start to reboost and will start to function or at least uh, for me for me it works like that i don't know yeah, one, two. yeah it will work restarting yeah So any other thoughts? Well, thank you. Somebody uh, said that uh, I'm uh, very beautiful today. Yes, I'm wearing makeup. <laughs> And the, uh, can, this is a question just in, that interests me. What makes you wear makeup uh, uh, and uh, what makes you choose? Is it the mood or is it the occasion? I, <laughs> I'm curious for myself because I'm uh, sometimes I feel like putting on makeup. Sometimes I don't feel like doing it. And I'm curious what about you? <laughs> uh, you know, Viorica, uh, I'm not uh, I'm not. Uh, 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 the right person to ask because I normally don't wear makeup, you know, because I grew, I grew up uh, dancing and uh, having all the time, like something like that on your face is totally unpleasant. And uh, that is why when I'm, uh, I'm um, outside of, uh, of stage, uh, I, I just don't wear makeup. But, uh, you know, today it was like that, you know, I was, uh, I was, uh, I, I was thinking, actually, I did it for you, to be honest because uh, I thought it, you know, it would be the last lesson. And I also had some time in the morning, I managed to wake up earlier and uh, I had some time. So I said, okay, maybe it's time to. And I also, I also do it because uh, from time to time, I like to surprise my colleagues <laughs> because normally I'm not wearing makeup. And then when I put makeup on, uh, 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 there are, you know, uh, that creates uh, very funny, very funny situations. You know, sometimes they don't recognize me, and sometimes, you know, and they are just, oh my God, you, oh, you look good, and uh, you should do that every day. And I'm, I'm explaining to them that I'm not going to do it every day. <laughs> yeah. So that's, uh, you know, I know I don't have, uh, I don't have a, I don't know how, how can I call it a, a programmatic uh, putting on or off uh, makeup. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Yeah, today I felt like, uh, because I had many things to do in the morning and then I was like, okay, it's the last, uh, it's our last meeting. So uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe put a new face. <laughs> But how, how it is for you? How, how do you, what makes you wear makeup? It depends, but also it, just as you said, uh, um, just um, I think that it's a kind of mask we put on when we enter the classroom, for example, meeting the students. So they see a person, as you said, posture and uh, the way we behave in front of our students makes them feel um that they can trust us or not and somehow i think in my mind i do it because i want to see more trustworthy but uh, honestly speaking it's not that there are moments when i don't feel like this uh, at a certain point i just don't make up uh, don't uh, wear makeup and i think it's okay my students <laughs> still trust me that would be funny to believe in this that makeup can do the men don't do it right and students still trust <laughs> Yes, uh, actually, yeah, for me to uh, make up, it is a mask. It is a mask, you know, it is our, let's say, social face, you know, we yeah. put the makeup, so we have the, we have, you know, the social, the social face slash mask. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's uh, well, one of the reasons that, uh, it's not that I don't like, because it's not, it's not like I don't like it, but uh, uh, I, what I don't like is uh, to wear masks. That's for sure. You know, and for me also is uh, is uh, this is the face for you know for um when I, I am in a situation to perform as in really perform. I mean, I mean to be on stage. 
you know, and um, growing up like that, and uh, I needed I needed my face to breathe, you know, my face and my hair, because you know, all my childhood I was having a bun, you know, the ballerina bun, and my hair was always like, you know, pulling my face uh, back. And uh, that is why, you know, every, every moment uh, I could spend with my hair loose or without makeup, uh, for me, it was a blessing. And now, and now growing, growing old, uh, actually, I really don't care <laughs> if people consider, consider it offending <laughs> that I'm not wearing makeup. Yeah. So, what I also what? know that makeup makes people feel more confident. I mean, it gives yeah. them more confidence, more power, more beautiful, probably more beautiful, probably. <laughs> yes, that's uh, that's exactly. I'm uh, uh, I'm calling it a, a mask because uh, that's that's the purpose of a mask. You know, behind a mask, you you I, I mean, you feel comfortable because you have this. Uh, I don't know. Let's say interface you know, to, to communicate with the others. So, yeah. What can I say? Yeah, I told you, I don't like masks. So, anybody else? Come on, don't be shy. You are shy. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> well, there, there are. Uh, if there are other things that uh, I don't know, maybe you feel you need more explanations about, or I don't know. Yes, I'm glad I'm glad you enjoyed it. So come on, ask me. Ask me. Ask me questions. Well, what can I say? If, if everything is so clear and uh, you have no questions for me, so I don't know. Shall, shall we say goodbye? Yes, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> or just three of us <laughs> yeah actually well well i um i want to thank you so much for uh, for joining <laughs> uh yes you can send me of course <laughs> you can send me videos uh well i assume you have my uh my email thank email you. And uh, if, if you have any questions and if you keep in touch, just feel free to do it, okay? Yeah. I, uh, can, I, I can yeah. tell you that I, I will try contemporary dancing. I will look into it. <laughs> so from yesterday, okay. I, so okay. maybe I'll give it a try. So <laughs> this is okay. something I'll take. <laughs> well. <laughs> Thank you for uh, for joining me. I'm so happy that I I've, I've met you. I hope to one day actually see you in in person, each one of you. And uh, I hope you'll uh, you'll enjoy uh, the next modules with my colleagues. And uh, just I don't know if you feel like just let me know what uh, what you feel about the other modules or if you feel like. Okay, so yeah, thank you. 
Thank you, Andrea. Thanks, Andrea. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Thank you. And take care. Okay. Yeah, take, take care. care. With COVID. Goodbye. Thank you. Very, very bye. nice. Bye. 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 Thank you. Про Лука. Про Лука Драган. Мы аузиц. Ralu ka. Good afternoon. <laughs>